Hey guys, so I got a new car and I honestly cannot be any more excited. But before we delve into my new car, we're going to go back and start off why I'm getting a new car and how I got this new car. So the reason as I'm getting a new car is because my very first car that I got when I was 15 years old, which was a Daihatsu Syrian 2005, has parked it so basically not road worthy not worth fixing because it's going to cost me like three thousand dollars to fix and it's not even probably worth three thousand dollars so we binned that car and I started looking around to try find what I am after I started out with a budget of only like five to six thousand dollars but um very soon I realized that wasn't really going to be possible to get a car that I was after. I was after a car that was pretty low in Ks, above 2005, as well as low Ks, and I was realizing that my budget was just not going to find me what I wanted. So I ended up increasing my budget to more around the 8 or 9K, and then when I put my budget up, I came across a 2013 Volkswagen Beetle in the yellow color, and I honestly fell in love. I just really, really wanted this car. I thought I was going to get it. I got it tested and it failed its test. Like, the people just did not recommend it because it was going to be so expensive if um, the thing that was found to be faulty were... What I'm going to say, sorry, is the thing that was found faulty was one of the things in the engine. And they said if or when that goes it's going to be very very pricey up to around 4k to fix and I was like I'm going to brush that one off and put that to the side and carry on my um, searching for a new car because I honestly just cannot afford to fix that if it does happen while I own it. I finally found the car which I ended up purchasing which was a 2019 MG3 Elite um, and it is honestly so amazing it is so much more advanced and high tech and just so much more modern compared to my 2005 Daihatsu Syrian. So enough talking guys, let's jump into the tour of my brand new car. So we'll start off with the exterior. So the colour I got was um, a vibrant blue colour. Um, ideally I would have wanted a white cream or a black but we can't be picky. Um, what I found was the blue so that's what I got. Um, and then there is the wheels. I am honestly in love with the wheels. I feel like the wheels can really make a car look a lot more premium than the cheaper, older looking cars. So yeah, the wheels just make it a lot more nice looking. And then the other thing was the front of the car, which is the grill. So it is definitely more of that um, 2019 and up grill style. Um, I'll pop some wee footage in so you can see what I'm meaning, but it is honestly so nice. Um, and then the last thing I wanted to talk about in terms of the exterior features was also the boot. Um, so one thing which was a big um, thing that I was looking for was boot space. If you'd seen my other videos, you would know I have two dogs. I have one really small dog and I actually have one really large dog. So one thing that was a big deal breaker for me was if the boot was too small. And then I found this car and the boot is has plenty of space for both of them to sit in there comfortably. We will now move into the interior features. So starting with the wheel. Um, the wheel is a really nice leather um, trim. It also has, which is really high tech for me, compared to my old car, which is the buttons on the steering wheel, which is so nice, not having to reach out to the centerpiece. So we've got the sound control. We've got the up, down, the mute, as well as forward and back a song. I can even do Siri, and I can also... Um, start and end phone calls using my wheel. Um, I then have some stuff off to the right hand side which I am not too sure what all of that is for yet but I'm sure as time goes on and I keep driving the car I'll work out what those are all for. So that is the features of the wheel however the other thing to note is 
in my old car, um, the indicators and the windscreen wipers were on the opposite sides. So I'm still trying to get used to that, but I'm sure I'll catch on soon. Um, then if we move to the centerpiece of the car, I have all the typical things. You have your aircon, you have your music thing, but one thing I didn't have in my old car was I have a really nice um, display screen. So there I can see my music, my podcast, I can have all my phone calls on there, my contacts. So yeah, I have Apple Play, so I can connect um, through Bluetooth or USB point um, to connect my phone up to the screen. I can do my Apple Maps on there. Um, what else? Oh, I also have a reversing camera, so whenever I'm got my car in reverse my back screen cameras will pop up on the screen which is so handy especially for me who is not the best of driving and the best for parking so the reversing cameras are coming in so handy the next thing if we move on will definitely be the seats so I have um not full leather but not full canvas it's like a leather trim with um, a gingham style canvas seating. So that is the same for the two front seats and the two back seats. Um, it's really nice and luxurious to have the leather. Ideally one day in my dream car I'll have full leather seats, but this is definitely a step up from my previous. The other thing would be um, my car has a lot of silver trim features which are on the wheel um, as well as the aircon and the door handles. Just sort of throughout the car there is the silver piping trim which is really nice, just adds a little feature to it. As well as um, the gingham that I said on the seating also features on the front um, panel of my car along the screen which is really nice just a little extra touch to it but yeah that is the interior of my car one thing I don't think I've also mentioned already was how amazing the speakers and stereo is in this car because when comparing it to my old car I went probably five years with a broken stereo um, so I'd either have to play my music through my phone or I'd have to put my AirPods in. So it is honestly so amazing finally being able to have a working stereo which I can blast music on. So definitely a thumbs up for that one. So that is the end of today's video, my tour of my brand new car. I hope you enjoyed watching today's video and I am sure I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.